everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Erica with Tiny Acorn. Today I have, hands down, my absolute favorite thrift haul I have ever shown on this channel. I have some of the most amazing vintage, epic clothes, like gem after gem after gem. Just amazing stuff, you guys. I'm going to be sharing at the end the most amazing vintage treasure that I have ever found in my entire life. I will be sharing that with you guys at the end, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already because I post videos usually every Thursday um, all about thrifting, vintage clothing, and a bit of heart to heart as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, before we jump into the video, I want to share a sponsor and that is OpenFit. So OpenFit is an online wellness platform that delivers streaming workouts in the comfort of your own home. I don't know about you guys, but working out from home is so much more appealing to me than going to the gym. So I love that you can stream these right to your device and do it in the comfort of your own home or backyard or wherever you want. And it's so convenient and so much cheaper than buying a gym membership. Not only do they have a bunch of different classes that you can choose from, but they also have personalized meal plans and a tracker if you're interested in like eating healthier. They also have a sound meditation on there, which is so cool. You can work out with celebrity trainers such as Andrea Rogers and join her popular Extend Bar class, Pilates, and stretch classes for less than the cost of a traditional bar or Pilates class. I gave birth last August, so I'm nine months postpartum, and there's definitely areas, especially in my tummy and my thighs and my butt, that I really want to tone up. This bar class is awesome, and it's great for lower body workouts. I've really been enjoying doing it. Andrea has been the best, you guys. She is so great with just like making me feel motivated and focus on the different muscles that I'm using and really getting the most out of my workout. So if you click the link down below, you can get a free 21 day trial of this app. And then after that, it's only $120 a year, you guys, which is so affordable. Compared to most gym memberships, you cannot beat that. So download the app, go explore, and sign up for either the Extend Bar, the Stretch, or the Pilates program, and let's get fit together. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this epic thrift haul. Today I have basically the thrift haul that I've never shown you guys before, kind of been saving them up. I have over 10 pieces, so I feel like I'm gonna have to go through these kind of quick. Let's start out with a banger, you guys, because I wanna start with a banger and end with a banger. Now, this actually wasn't thrifted technically, but most of these items were, so I'm calling it a thrift haul, but I actually got this one on a app that is um, basically for vintage clothing shopping. Yeah, I shared about this app on my Instagram, but the app is called Gem, and basically it brings together like all of the vintage shops like Etsy, eBay, uh, Garmentory, and all of these other online vintage shops into one app. You don't have to go to multiple platforms to search for what you wanna find. It all pops up on there, so it's, it's great. Are you guys ready for it? Oh my gosh! These pants, <gasps> they're like incredible. This is what all my quilting dreams are made of, you guys. So I just typed in quilted on the gem search app and these guys popped up within minutes and I snagged them. They're so cool. They're so long, look at these, you guys. I have to wear like my tallest heels with these because I'm not tall enough to wear these barefoot, um, but I just think they're so cool and unique and I've never seen anything like this in my life. I mean, it's taking like the quilted trend and just doing it in the most amazing way. Let's just take a moment for these fabrics. Oh, so cool. I love how it's combining like just these really fun patterns and colors the polka dots, the gingham, the stripes, and oh, God bless America. That's what I think when I see these. I'm like, God bless America. God bless the woman who made this quilt and the person who made it into a pair of pants. Amazing, amazing job. 
handcrafted, one of a kind. You'll never see these anywhere else. And that's what I love about vintage. Typically, if you have a vintage item, you don't see the same thing twice, but there have been incidences, but I guarantee you, you won't see this anywhere else. It's a one of a kind piece. Okay, so the next item that I wanna share with you guys is actually from one of my friends from Bakersfield's shop. I snagged a couple of her pieces, so let me share with you guys. Um, how cool is this little quilted dress? I feel like there's a trend because I have two more quilted pieces in this haul, you guys. How cute is that? Look at the little colorful buttons. I am in love. So the only thing is, it's a crotch shower for sure. So I always have to wear shorts underneath this if I wanna wear it, or I could add another button, but like, I don't know where to find these buttons at the moment. Um, I don't know. But if I find one, I will add it. Or I might add like a snap or a closure or something like that. But for now, we're doing the shorts underneath, and it's been fine. The best part is it's not a print either. It's actually sewn together little panels. So that makes it, I don't know, I think just a little bit more authentic looking. The next piece I got from her was actually her great aunt's, this little skirt. How cute is this? So it's got little pockets right here and I love that it came with this little belt. I think the belt is very cute. And I like that I can cinch it in because it is a little bit big in the waist for me. So with the belt, I can kind of tighten it up a little bit and make it more snug. I love that it'll go with a ton of stuff and the pleating is super cute. And I love these thick belt buckles right there. I think it's just darling. I could also swap out the belt and put any other belt that I want, which I am a fan of that. Okay, next. <sighs> I realize I'm about to show you a skirt that looks almost exactly like the skirt I just showed you, but it's totally different, trust me. It's this! <laughs> okay, so this is a wrap skirt, actually, and the wrap is in the back, which I haven't really ever seen that, but they put the wrap in the back. I think this is so cute. It has these pockets here, and you can see the stitching that comes around, which is so adorable. Still have the price tag on it. $20. Oh, this is another item that's thrifted. It's from a vintage store, but sometimes the prices are so good that it's almost like you're shopping at a thrift store. But this is from the store in Fresno that's like my favorite store to go to whenever I go to Fresno to visit my family, and it's called Yoshi Now. And it is like this massive warehouse full of like epic vintage clothing and furniture and home decor and records and they always have really great prices. I found this little skirt there and I couldn't pass it up and I just think it's like the most adorable thing. I cannot wait to style this up. I think it'd be so cute with some clogs and I don't know some sort of little like fluffy flurfy top or something. So yeah, that is a find that I'm very excited about for the summertime because I need skirts and shorts and things that are summery. Summery, things that are appropriate to wear for 100 degree heat. <laughs> okay, this next dress, you guys, I'm so in love with. I also got it at Yoshi. Look at this gem. It is so cute. I'm in love with it. It screams, Erica. Look at these little puff sleeves, so cute. I love this little yoke detailing here with the bow. I think that's adorable. And then it's carried over to the back, which the back is almost my favorite. I love that little yoke that goes down. And the best part is, you guys, it has a zipper that goes down here so I can breastfeed super easily, which is amazing. I also love the fact that it has pockets and the print is just so cute. I love that it's bright and fun and funky at the same time, but it's also a floral. It's just an epic little dress. And I will be wearing this a lot this summer, I know it. I've been looking for dresses that are shorter because most of my dresses are long or middies. Um, and so actually I was thinking of probably taking this one up a couple inches and making it like a mini because I think that might be cuter with the style. This one was also $20. So, so affordable. Go to Yoshi now if you're ever in Fresno. This next piece I got uh, thrifting when I was in Fresno at Heinz Hospice and it's this little pant set. 
so cute. So it has this little jacket that goes over the top. And this is a pair of trousers, eh, trousers, I don't know. They have like this very nice, uh, loose sort of waistband with a tie and pockets. And I love that you can kind of cinch it in really tight around your waist. The brand is California Crush. So the fabric is rayon and linen. And I think that's why I like it because it has that sort of linen-ish look, but it's not, it doesn't, it's not hundred percent linen. So it's not like uh, crazy with wrinkling or anything like that. So anyways, I just think it's the cutest set ever. Actually, the pants are a little bit big on me. So I may or may not offer this in one of my closet sales coming up. I'm hoping to have a closet sale soon because I've been kind of hoarding a bunch of stuff that I need to let go of. And so um, I will have that soon on Instagram. I'll make sure to let you guys know when that happens, but this might be up for sale in that. Okay, so this next top I got is not a vintage, but I think it's just adorable. It is actually from Forever 21. And I found this also at Heinz Hospice in Fresno. And I just thought this little, uh, Ruching, shear, sheared, shearing, shearing. I don't remember the term, but I thought this was so cute. It's like this little milkmaid blouse and I loved the color. I normally don't like pinks, but honestly, if I was gonna wear any pink, I would want it to be this color. It's kind of like a salmon color and I think it's really gorgeous. I loved the puff sleeves and I think that it's just a fun, cute little summer top that I could definitely pair with the skirts that I got, um, pair it with shorts and jeans. And yeah, I am very excited about this one actually. Okay, next. Okay guys, this skirt, are you kidding me? Isn't that amazing? It's like what 70s dreams are made out of. So this is also not a print. It is actually quilted. I got it from a hair salon down here in Bakersfield called Midtown Studios, and they sell some vintage clothing there. So I snagged this. I love it. I think it's so unique and just fun. I love that. I love fun clothes, and I love the black stitching across it. And then one of my favorite things, honestly, is this like, neon lime green patch. Those patches are so cute. I really love this one and it is a little bit on the thicker side so it's not necessarily like super cool to wear when it's hot outside um, because it is like polyester but it's still amazing. Next! So these next three items I got from the store in Bakersfield called In Your Wildest Dreams. They have lots of vintage. They also just have secondhand clothing. So it's kind of like a thrift store slash vintage store slash antique store. So lately I have been just obsessed with the nightwear lingerie section, section, yes, section at the thrift store. And just this idea of wearing nightgown things as outerwear. And so I got a couple of nighty pieces. Starting out with this one, look at this, this little tie dye, amazing little purple night dress thing. Um, so look at the little applique on the collar. I love that, I think it's so cute. And um, it also has some piping detailing there. You even got the pocket. I think it's so cute to wear as a layer over something like a t-shirt or a dress and just kind of layer it on. I love the silhouette. I love that longer hemline and just the color is really fun and funky. I don't know who makes these, but it's a consignment store. So there's this booth that's in the very, very back. Um, there's a rack of these and this person just tie-dyes, nighties and lingerie and stuff and they look really cool. Okay you guys, so the next nightie that I got was this precious little thing. Are you kidding me? Look at this delicate little Peter Pan collar on the top. I think it's so precious. Precious. It was $14. Um, it's a full length. To be honest you guys, 
I don't know if I would wear it as a full length just because it really looks like a nightgown or a costume, I feel like, if you wear it full length. So I think that what I'm gonna do is actually crop it into a mini to make it a little bit more modern and something that I would actually wanna wear. Um, if that doesn't really pan out, I actually might end up selling this in one of my closet sales. So stay tuned for that. My next closet sale is gonna be so fun, you guys. I cannot wait to do it. But anyways, I just thought this was so cute and what sold me was this. It just completely sold me. Another idea though would be to turn this into a cute little cropped blouse. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do with this. If you think I should leave it long, just turn it into a mini dress, or if you think I should crop it into a blouse, let me know in the comments. Okay, so this next piece I also got from In Your Wildest Dreams. They have a really great section in the back that has what they call costumes, and actually they probably are costumes, um, but some of them I'm like, this one I bought solely for the fact that I loved the fabric, and I've done that also in the past with another dress, which I will show you. They kind of look very similar. The silhouette is a little bit costumey, but I feel like if I just made a couple of alterations to these pieces, they would look so cute. So this is the dress. Do you guys see this fabric? Light blue gingham with some cute little blue daisies on it. It's very long. <laughs> and the bottom also has a tear down at the bottom. Um, so I do feel like it may need to be modernized a little bit. Oh, but wait, you guys, it comes with the bonnet. Let's make bonnets great again, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm into the bonnet look. Oh yeah, baby. So cute. It's adorable. It's so fetch. Is this considered cottage core? Comment down below. Okay, so I have this one, and then let me show you guys the other dress that is very similar to this that's been sitting in my closet waiting to be altered. So this is the other one that I have that is kind of uh, unwearable as is. You guys may have seen this in my Come Thrift With Me in Reno, Nevada video. It's kind of an LOL moment, right? Like very, very similar. This is also a gingham with flowers on top. The style is so similar. Maybe they are both costumes. I don't know. Unfortunately, this one did not come with a bonnet, which I'm really sad about. Okay, so these next three items I got such a long time ago when I was still living in San Francisco and I just haven't gotten around to sharing them in any of my thrift hauls. Let's go ahead and start out with this amazing bucket hat. This says Mallorca on it, and look at this little design with this guy at the beach. He's just hanging out. Yeah, it's just like such a different hat for me. Like I normally am not drawn to bucket hats, um, but I thought this one is really fun. And the thing I love most about it, honestly, is the font here and how bright and fun it is. And also the fact that it has this cute little illustration of the guy at the beach. So this one's been fun to wear this spring. Okay, so I have two amazing little vintage t-shirts that I've been wearing nonstop since I got them. Um, this one, how cute is that? I love it. I just think it's adorable. I love the stripes on the sleeve, the white and the red, and white around the collar. I just think it's such a fun tee that you could pair with so many different things, and it would look so cute with it. So you guys also know that I'm very into red and bright colors. And this next tee I think is also adorable. It says Cuba. And something else that I don't know what it says, siempre in verano. Someone tell me the translation of this below if you know it. Uh, very thin, comfy, loose, just like your perfect vintage tee. Um, it does have a little bit of like staining here in the armpit, but when my arms are down, you can't notice it, so it's okay. Uh, this is a really cute little t-shirt I've been wearing a lot as well. Okay guys, we're only three items away from my most favorite, epic, vintage gem that I've ever thrifted, okay? But for now, I'm gonna show you this. Um, I got this little coat at a flea market here in Bakersfield and it has these like black velvet buttons, uh, pockets on the front here, and then look at the back. How cute is that? It has a little placket thing here. The tag does not look vintage to me, but um, 
I thought it had like a, it's kind of reminiscent of a vintage jacket. Yeah, I just thought it was a really fun coat. I loved the colors. Um, I actually might end up selling this in my closet sale. I still haven't decided yet, but it's just that I have so many coats and I don't know, you guys. Sometimes I just buy things impulsively and then I get them home and then I'm like, why did I do that? Like I already have things that are very similar. And so anyways, I might end up selling this one in my closet sale. <gasps> This next piece is one of my favorites. Okay, are you guys ready for it? This dress! Oh my gosh, it's like that skirt. Wow, these are very similar. This is a dress version of that. I normally don't wear this color pink, you guys. This is very different for me. I'm not a big pink fan. Most of you already know that, um, but this, I just felt like it's so cute. I had to get it anyways, even though it's pink. I just wish this top was a different color. Like, hey, maybe it could be orange or black even or purple. I don't know, anything besides this color pink. But it turned out to be super cute anyways. Look at all the colors on this skirt. Isn't that pretty? It's just such a unique find. I love the sheer sleeves. It's so cute. I just have to wait until it gets a little bit cooler in order to wear it. Okay, guys. I am so excited to share this last piece with you. This is the coolest piece I have ever thrifted in my entire life. I wish I could date this item. I probably should do more research to find out when it's from. But anyways... I think it's the coolest piece I've ever found. Comment down below and let me know if you agree with me. Are you ready? <gasps> Look at this. This is a cheerleaders jacket with all of her buttons from the different games. How cute is this? I'm back by popular demand. She has all of these fun Loyola Pride, Big Blue Wrecking Crew. There's even hand-drawn little buttons on there for each game. Nuke Notre Dame, are you kidding me? That is so fun and special. She even wrote the score on this one, 29 to zero. Fry Francis, Crush Crespi. <sighs> and then her beautiful letter right here, Paula with the tiger. Oh, it's just such a unique, coat and I feel so honored to have this piece to treasure and save all the amazing memories that went into this coat and the woman who wore it and cheered for her football team and I just think it's so special to have and I wish that I knew this woman. Um, I think it's just such a cool piece. I cannot wait to wear it in the winter time. I just think it's so fun. I would love to style it with like a fun flirty dress and just kind of like take it a totally different direction. Yeah, I think it's like the coolest piece I've ever thrifted and found. I actually, I got it for $40 um, and I think they might still have the sweater and the skirt that goes with this set. If you're interested, you can message my friend Kristen on her their Instagram at Jato. Bakersfield. Um, I'll link it for you guys below. But anyways, such a fun piece. I am in love with it, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was seriously the funnest thrift haul I have ever showed you guys. I feel like there's so many epic pieces in this thrift haul, and that's why it hands down been my absolute favorite that I've ever showed you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And um, also, if you have any ideas on how to style some of these pieces, I can always use your help and your input. You guys are awesome and I love having you guys as part of my community. Um, if you aren't already, go ahead and pop over to my Instagram at tiny underscore acorn. I'd love to see you guys over there because I do post a lot of other stuff that I don't show on my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to check out Open Fit and join me as I am working to try to get fit this year and kind of tone my body post-pregnancy. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I would love to hear about your experience on there. If you guys do download the app, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye.